hope everybody's doing okay. How are you all? Are you all good? I really hope so. Um, so we're here again with another Nutty Nail collab. How exciting! Um, God, it's come around so fast. These Nutty Nail co collabs are like every three weeks. So it's been three weeks since I did that bloody um that Warren Wolf set exciting um so yes and this theme this um oh how do you get your words out Leah come on yeah this month this this month's theme or this tying round theme <laughs> is a bridal set yes yeah, a bridal theme which is very cute so um I'm basically doing four nails today and I'm doing them like medium almond shape because I just love almond it's natural isn't it and I'm just giving them, all four of them, a one thin coat of white, throwing it in the lamp, and then I'm going to go over with this, which is Flutter from Madame Glam, which is like transparent nude. That's why I went in with the white first, because I just wanted, um, yeah, I just wanted that base, that even base, to kind of give it an opaque feel, and not a transparent feel, if that makes sense. Um, I do two coats of the, this flirty and obviously curing in between each coat obviously would it be two coats then would it so once I've done that I actually put a thin layer of blooming gel on and then I'm gonna swipe my brush through just perfect white and I'm gonna go in and do some blooming flowers Um, this is actually a fail yeah, this is a blooper fail temp. I just thought I'd keep it in because it just shows that, you know, we don't always get everything perfect. I mean, I think it took me just under an hour to do this set. And it's the most simple set ever. I've done, like, more intricate sets uh, quicker than what I've done this. I was like, what's going on with me today? But I have, honestly, I've had a hectic couple of days. Um, Hopefully... I will be able to share some very exciting news in the next couple of weeks. I'm praying, I'm hoping. But yeah, anyway, I probably shouldn't have said that because I'm probably going to jinx it now. But <laughs> yes, let's let's just change the subject quickly. So yeah, this, I, mean, I didn't like the shape of the rose at all. I felt like it was quite oblong and not round. And I felt like I just left it far too spacey. And then just going too big here basically like look at that <laughs> what is that um so yeah i mean i don't know you might be sat there thinking what's she on about it's that's good but i'm a virgo unfortunately i have a perfectionist tree and it's bloody terrible i hate it this and you'll know why it took me so long in a minute when i show you well when we get to the next nail um oh yeah i forgot to edit this part out so this is an also a blue path so. <laughs> so this is my second attempt and i think i end up giving up in a minute oh wipe it off the nail and then i did some more <sighs> excuse me blooming gel and then third time lucky eh we hope <laughs> Um, but yeah, I thought I'd leave it in, you know, we're not all perfect, we can't always get it right first time. And to be fair, once it, like, I ended up putting two roses on, so once I'd put the other one on and cured it and top coated, it probably would have looked lovely. So I don't know what, um, I don't know why I'm so fussy at times, because there's just no need to be, you know, but hey ho, this is the kind of stuff that we do, don't we? Um... Sorry, I was just screwing the lid back on one of my apologies. <clears throat> I've left it off. Well, not off, but open. Yes, so once I'm happy... Oh, we end up going in at the bottom. Once I'm happy with my placement, I just pop it in the lamp and cure it. And then... For the second one... Oh, God, I'm so tired. For the second... I then obviously do another coat of blooming gel. And obviously do not cure your blooming gel before you do this otherwise it's not going to work 
and you can do just roses like this without blooming gel um you know the same technique and i will actually do you know i might do like a little um i might do like so many different ways to create a rose mm, what do you think a little rose tutorial uh, I, well, I mean, I'm kind of not in spring or summer anymore. A rose is useful in autumn and winter. I think winter, you could do like. Could you? Meh. I don't know. I might do it anyway. It's always good to know. That's the thing, though. Like, every client's different. You know, you might get you clients that just always have French, or your clients that just have basic one colour polish. Or, I mean, even if you don't do clients you can still do rose anything can be christmas there anything let's do some oh brilliant idea yes i'm gonna do <coughs> <coughs> oh, i'm so God, sorry guys. i had to <laughs> um cut cut off there and i've had to come back on because i was just going to a coughing fit oh, this class been lingering for so long but i'm hopefully coming away from it now um yes i'm gonna do that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna do like a rose a different way different ways to do roses kind of tutorial very excited and i'm also gonna do a little um i'm gonna incorporate roses into a halloween set as well <laughs> can we talk about halloween yet i mean i've been talking about halloween for god knows how long a while so um but yeah i am all for spooky seasons i love it yeah anyway i don't know how we get from roses to halloween but hey how the mind of leah <laughs> it constantly does not stop perfect oh so i'm gonna pop that in the lamp and then we're moving on to the next nail and i only show you doing one of this that's because i do all the other three in french too um and this is probably why it took me so long i don't do french that often so i don't yeah i don't do french that often so i'm not like i'm not super what's the word yeah i'm not the best at it so it took me a while to kind of try and line it up and then because I was trying to get them all the same, which, why am I trying to get them all the same? I mean, geez, Louise, we can do our best, but I'm never, ever, ever going to get, it's like snowflakes, isn't it? You know, everyone is different. So, yeah, these nails are all a little bit different. The sisters, not the twins. <laughs> um, but, no. Yeah, I, I mean, I do enjoy doing French, but tonight I didn't. I just was not in the mood. But I needed to get this set done. I don't know why I'd left it so last minute. And I really didn't want to miss out. Because I really enjoyed doing um, collabs with these lovely nail artists. I really enjoy it. So I thought, nope, you're not missing out today. Get it done. But yeah, it's been... I kept it a couple of weeks. Well, I say a couple of weeks. It has been a hectic couple of weeks. Obviously, a kid goes back to school, and then there's been some, um, yeah, just other stuff going on. But then, like I say, I might have good news too, so, yeah, it's been like, a lot of so strange emotions this week. Ups and downs, oh god. I just can't wait for, in the next couple of weeks, to just sit there and just be like, right, breathe. So as you can see, I keep checking and, oh, I don't know what happened to my face there. I keep checking. <laughs> I keep checking and when I'm finally like, yeah, it'll do. I put it in the lamp and cure it. So here I've got some tiny little pearls, half pearls from uh, Elena Crystals. Um, And they're like an ivory colour. So there was two colours. It was like just a white um oh there's like these ivory ones and i went ivory because i like that yeah i think if i was to ever get married which i never will um i think i'd go for like an ivory dress over white 
So what I'm doing now is I'm just top coating this one nail and look at that. Oh no, it's not that bad. I just changed. Um, yeah, I'm top coating this nail and then <clears throat> I'm gonna just pick up those little tiny half pearls. I'm so sorry, I'm out of shot for most of this, and I'm gonna um. What am I going to do? Oh yeah, just place them in that top coat because I'm on the door and I just plate it. And, <clears throat> um, and then I'm just going to cure them in there because there's no need for me to be getting glue out and all that. Because if it was on a client, I would do glue just to make sure it's a bit more sturdier. Oh, I think now I go in with some... Yeah, look, I tried to go in with some caviar beads. I've not zoomed in on this one, have I? Usually I zoom in, but I've just not zoomed in at all with this set. I hope you can see me doing the roses okay. Usually I zoom in. Sorry, guys, I've not been uh, very good today, have I? Um, but anyway, yeah, I didn't like the ca gold caviar beads, so I just stuck to that. I was quite happy with the finished results. I mean, personally, I wouldn't have any beads on my nails, but I really liked how these turned out. Um, if you enjoyed today's video, please give me a like, hit the subscribe button and notification bell and I will see you all again soon. Thank you, bye!